Hi, welcome to Funny Finance Guy. My name is Anand Hasbi. In today's episode, we will talk a little bit about where does the money go when the stock is traded in the stock market. So to explain this, I'm going to introduce two terms, which is primary market and secondary market. So in this example, let's assume you are an owner for a very successful restaurant. And every night for the past five years, that restaurant is full. In fact, it is so full that there is a line outside every night. One day you think to yourself, why not I expand this restaurant into maybe four or five different locations? So this is where you want to raise some capital or you want to raise some money. While there are two ways of raising money, which is equity or debt, you decide to raise money via equity. So you sell some of your shares to another person and I would pay money for your shares. So before this, you own 100% of the company. This right here is a pie chart. I'm sorry to start the episode by showing a random circle and the word primary on the left top side. But anyway, this is you over here. You are the issuer of the stock where you want to sell some stake of your company or some shares in your company and assuming I am the investor. So if I decide to buy some shares in your company, what will happen is I will pay some money in order for some shares in your company. So the exchange will look like this. Shares will transfer from you to me and money will transfer from me to you. So assuming if you sold a 50% stake in your company, right now this is how the ownership structure looks like. I will own 50% while you will own 50% of the company. So that is the primary market where after going for an IPO or an initial public offering, where you offer some of the shares in your companies to initial investors. Now in the secondary market, assuming if one day your stock price rose from one ringgit to two ringgit, and if I decide to dispose some of the shares in your company, what will happen is that I will sell the share to the prospective investor, maybe investor B, in exchange, he will give me the money, maybe two ringgit. So I will make one ringgit from here, while investor B would have the shares. So how investor B will make money is when the share moves up, say maybe from two ringgit to two ringgit and 10 cents. Notice over here, the issuer is not involved. So the rule of thumb over here is despite the company being traded, on a daily basis, sometimes the owner may not be involved in the trade. Having said that, however, if the owner decides to sell the other 50% of his company, that's where he can raise more money to be injected in his company for further expansion. Thank you so much for the questions which I received. I would like to give a shout out to the people that just subscribed to the channel. And I thank you so very much for all the questions given to me. Also, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode. If you like this episode, give me a bunch of thumbs up or maybe even subscribe. I wish you the best of luck for your investing and also for building your passive income.